Michael's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from the parishioners of St. Margaret's Parish in Midland, Ontario. On behalf of all the faithful across Canada gathered for this celebration, we thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Dear friends, prepare our hearts to celebrate the Holy Mass. We take a moment to call to mind our sins and our failings in life, and ask the Lord for mercy. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers, my sisters, that I have sinned for my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, and what I've done, what I have failed to do, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you helped Elizabeth of Hungary to recognize and honor Christ in the poor of this world. Let her prayers help us to serve our brothers and sisters in time of trouble and need. And we make this prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. Eleazar, one of the scribes in high position, a man now advanced in age and of noble presence, was being forced to open his mouth to eat swine's flesh. But he, welcoming death with honor rather than life with pollution, went up to the rack of his own accord, spitting out the flesh, as all ought to do who have the courage to refuse things that it is not right to taste, even for the natural love of life. Those who were in charge of that unlawful sacrifice took the man aside because of their long acquaintance with him and privately urged him to bring meat of his own providing proper for him to use and to pretend that he was eating the flesh of the sacrificial meal that had been commanded to the king so that by doing this, he might be saved from death and be treated kindly on account of his old friendship with them. But making a high resolve worthy of his years and the dignity of his old age and the gray hairs that he had reached with distinction and his excellent life even from childhood and moreover according to the holy God-given law, he declared himself quickly, telling them to send him to Hades such pretense is not worthy of our time of life, he said, for many of the young might suppose that Eleazar in his 90th year had gone over to an alien religion. And through my pretense, for the sake of living a brief moment longer, they would be led astray because of me, while I defile and disgrace my old age. Even if for the present I would avoid the punishment of mortals, Yet, whether I live or die, I shall not escape the hands of the Almighty. Therefore, by bravely giving up my life now, I will show myself worthy of my old age and leave to the young a noble example of how to die a good death, willingly and nobly for the revered and holy laws. When he had said this, Eleazar went at once to the rack. Those who a little before had acted toward him with good will now changed to ill will because the words he had uttered were, in their opinion, sheer madness. When he was about to die under the blows, he groaned aloud and said, It is clear to the Lord in his holy knowledge that though I might have been saved from death, I am enduring terrible sufferings in my body under this beating, 
but in my soul I am glad to suffer these things because I fear him. So in this way Eleazar died, leaving in his death an example of nobility and a memorial of courage, not only to the young, but to the great body of his nation. The word of the Lord. The Lord upholds me. The Lord upholds me. O oh Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, there is no help for you in God. The Lord upholds me. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. The Lord upholds me. I lie down and sleep. I wake again. For the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. The Hallelujah. 